Welcome and thanks. We are going to continue our decision 2014 coverage right now. We're talking about the state's highest office, the race for governor coming up in just a few months in November. Joining me right now, Mr. Fred Duval. He's the Democratic candidate. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Thank Duval, you. for being with us. Glad I just to be want here. to point out real quick, we have reached out to your Republican challenger, Doug Ducey. We are still waiting to hear from his camp. We'd also like to get him here. In the meantime, though, talk to us, Mr. Ducey, so far, excuse me, Mr. Duval. Talk to us about how the campaign is going so far, because I just read a poll this morning. It looks like the two of you are tied 40%, right. 40%. What do you make of that? It's such a close race. I, I have really built a bipartisan coalition. I'm a problem solver. I bring people together. Uh, it was a full page ad in the Republic with uh, almost 200 Republicans endorsing me. I've got Grant Woods, who was former Republican Attorney General, uh, Chairman of Governor Brewer's campaign, on TV, paid advertising, saying, look, this is time for us to pr solve problems, stop the partisan fighting, come together uh, around the strategic goals of expanding our economy, more opportunity for our families, better jobs at better wages, better outcomes in our schools, stopping the cuts to K-12 education, uh, and it's getting a great response from independents, Republicans, and Democrats alike. Okay, and I, I wanted to, you brought up a good point, education. I was reading on your mm -hmm. website, too. Seems to be a big platform for you. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. It, it, it is the dominant platform for me uh, for a number of reasons. We've cut education more deeply than any state in the United States. We lose a third of our teachers every year. We have the largest class sizes in the country. We are absolutely headed in, in the wrong direction. Businesses won't want to move here if they can't, one, hire good, smart, capable employees, and two, uh, if they don't have schools that they have confidence in to put their, their own children in. So we've the number one priority for both uh, our kids' future and for our economic growth is to get reinvesting back in our schools uh, to assure that our kids have the opportunity that we want for them. It's number one for me. Okay, and we mentioned this, you know, with the polls being so close, why do you think you're the best person for the job here? Mm -hmm. uh, I've had about 40 years of experience working across the aisle, Republicans and Democrats, on really big uh, solutions. Uh, I did it with Governor Babbitt in the 80s when we built access and the Phoenix Freeway system and some of the, the big things in the 80s. I did it in the Clinton White House, uh, administering welfare reform in, across all 50 states, Republican and Democratic. Uh, I was on the State Board of Regents overseeing the state's universities. At a, a time of crisis, we had to dramatically reform higher ed with much uh, significantly new higher levels of higher uh, financial aid in order to assure that uh, that every child of gifted student regardless of where they start in life if they are gifted and motivated and talented could get into our universities and succeed uh, and we've done that and we we did it on a bipartisan basis it's about problem solving and Arizona's got problems all right, Mr. Fred Duval, thank you so much thank for joining us, much. Democratic candidate for governor. Again, we have reached out to Mr. Doug Ducey's camp. We are still waiting to hear back from them, and hopefully we'll have him on the show at some point. Also, best of luck. Thank, thank you. you again so much. Thanks for your time. And remember, Decision 2014, we are your place for all of that coverage. We'll be right back. Stay with us.